Today, I'm going to talk about the brain. Whether you want to believe or not, athleticism is not just about the body, how much you lift, how heavy you lift. It's about biomechanics. But what determines biomechanics? It's in the brain, in the wiring of the brain. The physical mechanism of the foot is in the body, but it's a subconscious thought process that makes it work. Without the brain, without the neural pathway to fire those intrinsic muscles in your foot, in turn builds the connection to the glutes, there is no athleticism. I want to talk about an important mechanism of the brain known as the neuroplasticity. Not long ago, many scientists believe the brain did not change after childhood. It was hardware by the time we become adults. But recent advances in last decades in neuroscience reveal a complete different story. Our brain changes throughout the course of our lives. Our brain is adaptable just like plastic. And how does it work in athleticism? That's where the nerves from the foot to the glutes come into play. If you think of your brain as a dynamic connected power grid, whenever you do squat or shoot a basketball or run, certain part of your brain lit up. Some of these neural pathways are well traveled. They are our habits formed subconsciously over time, established way of thinking, feeling, and doing. If you have been in the shoe and use your foot in the neutral mode without the feeling of your glutes, every time you complete the exercise or movement, you strengthen this neural pathway and make it stronger. It becomes easier for the brain to travel along this path every time. It's like one of those autocomplete features on Apple iPhone. As you start to type certain letters, it fills the word for you. And unfortunately, every time it's quad, 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 and not glutes. So in my research, I have tried a few jump programs but I did not become glutes dominant and this is exactly why because I never changed the mold of my foot so it was using the same neural pathway no matter whether it was squatting, running, jumping or shooting a basketball once I un understood this, this behavior of the brain and how it governs the body I was able to inch closer to the final discovery of the subconscious state of the foot that not only makes baby's turtles curl and also make a great athlete's foot curl as well. The curling is simply a byproduct, but the tension and the specific way of using the foot is a real mechanism. So this is why I recommend to my readers and people out there watching this, if you can't feel tension in your glutes standing, running, shooting a basketball, and you are following the exact word from the elite athletes and you know professional or, or, or trainers, you're not going to get results because um, you know your your neural pathway is still using the same path as before and that path reinforces the habit which recruits quad and as you can't feel any glutes you have no nerves to the glutes you can change the neural pathway so the first thing you need to do really is to build nerves from your foot to the glutes. Then you can start doing those exercises.
practice those jumps, shoot those basketballs. Perhaps you are stuck in the cycle of getting a few inches of vertical, but constantly getting injured, and you have to rest, and you lose your vertical, and then you get another program, then you get injured again, and then rest. Then the cycle continues, right? It's like a, a, a ni nightmare just repeats itself. Chronic ankle sprays, chronic tendonitis, it's all because you're using the foot incorrectly, and that reinforces the neural pathway by the means of neuroplasticity. If you have tried it, every job jump program out there, strength program out there, and still not getting results, still not satisfied, give hyperarch mechanism a try, and let it mold you physiologically and neurologically. And finally, do me a favor, share this if you like. Athleticism is not just about squatting, okay? Like many, many strength coaches talk about, you know, um, yeah, we'll get you more athleticism by you, by your uh, squatting heavier, but it's, it's, it's much more complicated than that. And it involves nerves, ball mechanics and hyperarch mechanism is bigger than just basketball next time I'll be talking um, about different champions in different fields and I'm gonna ask you whose foot is it by looking at footages I think it's gonna be very fascinating well believe a revolution is coming. Thank you.